Why do people succeed? This is part five. Finally, let's look at how our dreams and our goals align with God and His plans for us. When we looked at how to develop our purpose, we thought about our personal values. Are your values in sync with God and what He spells out in Scripture for us? <laughs> A great starting place is in the, in the book of Exodus. It's the Ten Commandments. The first four of those commandments are focused on us and our relationship to God Himself, while the last six are how we treat other people. Are your values in alignment with all ten of these commandments, not suggestions? In other words, are you lying to get something that you want? Possibly, to make that big sale, you got to lie for it. Maybe you are stealing from others, or you're defaming your parents. How is this a reflection of who you really are at your core? If you are not living with God-centered values, will you truly, I mean truly, achieve success? The success that you want? Will people trust you in the long term? Will you have real friends? Will people want to do business with you or even work for you? If you answered no to any of these questions, are you really successful? You may have a lot of things, but is that really success? If having a lot of stuff is how you define success, then sure, maybe you are successful in your own mind. But if you are using people to get things, that is not true long-term success. Try reversing that and use things to help people instead. I love the way Zig Ziglar put it. He said, you can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get the things that they want. You know, that sure sounds an awful lot like the golden rule to me. In everything, therefore, treat people the same way you want them to treat you. Matthew 7, verse 12. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Philippians 2, verses 3 and 4. So how do you measure up? Are you living in alignment with God's principles? If you are, then you are on your way to true success. So let's recap. Here are the real things that we need to do in order to achieve success. First, know who you are. Know your why. Number three, know and live your life's purpose. Number four, embrace grit and take action. And number five, align your values with God. If you'd like to know more about how to achieve more success long term, maybe we should set up that virtual cup of coffee. Reach out today and let's help you become the best you possible. This is Steve Reed with Stephen Reed Coaching and Stephen Reed Ministries. I want to bring a little bit of light and hope into your life so that you can have a more victorious life. I hope you have a blessed day today. Goodbye for now.